Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Seven here, and we're gonna. Be, we're just gonna I'm just gonna get like this helpful tip for everyone who does have Giannis and who doesn't have Giannis. Um, Giannis is a player that can't really shoot, right? He's not known for shooting. He's not supposed to be shooting, so he has a low shooting side. He comes with 74-3. Okay. There are three point diamond shooters in the game. There, I believe there's three of them for his brand, which is Nike. But Giannis also has other flaws. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the stat. All right, here we are, Deion's card. 96 offense, 95 defense. All right, so he has a he has great great job in layup standing up at 97, but he has a 78 post fade for someone at 611. That is not okay, not okay at all. He has a post look at 74. That's still not okay. Giannis Giannis has a fantastic post game when he can't like get by someone. Like if he runs to a seven foot center, he'll just stop. To do, do two post dribbles and then fade away from him. Like, he has a post fade away. 78 is not okay to have. Now, his 3 point is 74. We know that's weak. Um, his ball control is at 86. He, if you're running him at point and he has 86 ball control, he'll get wrecked. All right? That's way too low for, for a 611 guy. Basically, seven foot to dribbling. He'll get wrecked. All right? So, that that's a flaw. He has, um, he has a low block. He has a low steal. I mean, the block doesn't matter. He's Johnny. He's still going to get blocks anyway, and he's still going to look fantastic. He has a low steal. Like, there are a lot of stats that are low. He's, his stamina, strength low. Like, there, there's a lot of things that are low. And a diamond card only boosts five stats. So, we're going to go over the diamond shoes real quick, and we're going to see which one is actually best for Pink Diamond Giannis. All right. So, here we are, the Nike diamond shoes. And to my knowledge, there's three. There's the Weatherman Foam Posits. There's the PG-1 um, from 2K. Well, that's basically 2K. This is a 2K-17 version when the game came out. The shooter came out for the game. And then there's the Kobe AD no, mid. Fuck All right. Fuck now, each shoe boosts five of his own specific stats. And they boost very, very good things. So Giannis has a low ball control, right? Cool. I see why people pick the Weatherman's. Low ball control, boosts his three, boosts his shot contest, boosts his acceleration, and boosts his layup. But my thing is, he already has a 97 layup. Why would you waste a plus five stat boost on Ping Diamond Giannis? His acceleration is already phenomenal. He doesn't really need a boost to acceleration. He has a high contest in the first place. He doesn't really need a high boost to his contest. So I don't I don't, I don't, don't understand why people are throwing a Weatherman's on him. That's just a waste of basically 60,000 MT. It really is. Um, but the fact of these joints are 60,000 in the first place are crazy. Now we're gonna go next to the PG 13, right? Again, boost ball control. That's the same shoe. That's exactly the same shoe. Boost ball control, boost layup, boost acceleration, boost contest, and boost three pointer. I've just noticed that these two cards boost the same stats. That is ridiculous. They boost the same stats. I had no idea until, until I was making this video. But either way, when it comes to upgrading your Diamond Giannis, your Pink Diamond Giannis, I don't suggest you pick any of these shoes. I suggest you get the Kobe AD Mid. All right, where is that? Where is it definitely at? See, it's not the exact same shoes as the other ones, but it boosts exactly the stats that he's low in. So it boosts his ball control. It goes to a 91. Bada bing. He now... Has a 91 ball control. It's a lot harder for guards to rip him if you're running him at the point. It makes it a lot easier for him to get by big men since he has a high ball control now, not just a base ball control 86 like like Sapphire cards. He now is going to have a post fadeaway. So at the end of the offense, his post fadeaway goes from 78 to 83. At the end of the offense, you can just give it to him and shoot over top of people when you're stuck. So now you have some. You have two stats that that like that are just horrendous. And they're, they're, they're boosted. And those, like, two stats are actually usable stats that we all need. And then acceleration, cool. He'll blow by people a lot faster. I ain't tripping off of that. But then he also gets the three-point boost. And you guys saw he had a 78 steal. Now he has an 83 steal. And if you have a um, if you have Steve Kerr, he gets a boost to his steal, meaning he'll then be able to, like, he'll have an 87 steal, which is actually phenomenal. 83 steal is dope, too. The best, like, the best diamond shoe is this um, Kobe AD mid. Um, I think everyone's starting to realize that now since that one says 72. I bought mine for 60K the day it came out. The market was loaded with diamond diamond shoes. And the Kobe AD mid was actually the cheapest one at that time. 
I think it's the most expensive now. I'm not too sure, but yeah. But yeah, this is my Giannis on your screen. As you guys see, I added the Kobe AD mid to him, and I can just show you exactly why. Well, I'll show you exactly with the boost. See, his post fadeaway goes from 83, shot three goes to 79 with a coach to 83, shot three. His ball control is now is is elite. I mean, not like not like Kyrie Irving elite, but it's there. You feel me? It's there. His steal 84 now. Like that's exactly what you want. Like these are stats that that like that are poor, and you want it. Like when you put a diamond shoe on the guy, you don't just want to boost one stat. You want to make the most out of all the stats on the card, cause you're paying like 60k. Do not waste a diamond shoe, bro. Do not waste a diamond shoe. You feel me? Now his acceleration is 93. Like these are like all the stats boosted are the stats that like that are poor. You don't want to waste a diamond shoe, man. You really don't want to do it. But alright, guys, that's gonna be the video. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Please like the video. Um, I'm noticing that the likes are pretty low. I mean, I'm not like begging. I'm just like, hey, if you guys like the video, it helps the channel go out a little bit more. Uh, that actually one of my videos from two weeks ago has like 75 likes and it has like 5k views. And I feel like that's because people are liking the video. And, uh, YouTube is like, oh, people like the video. Let me suggest it to others. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.